Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a special series on South Dakota residency. I really want to encourage you to watch until the very end of this video because unlike a lot of YouTube videos, this video is not sponsored and I'm going to give you the complete truth about what this really means to get your South Dakota driver's license from personal experience. And I want you to know the whole story. So stay till the very end. Thanks. Okay guys, so yeah, welcome to part one. Uh, South Dakota, the Mount Rushmore state. Uh, the capital is pronounced Pier. The motto is under God, the people rule. It's a really cool state and the east is very much like the Midwest. By the time you get out to the west, you're in mountain time and it starts to really resemble the west. So if you're going to do this, then you're going to want to pick your side. And by the way, I want to preface this by saying, uh, please uh, seek legal counsel when doing something like this. Everything that I mentioned here, this is simply for entertainment purposes or supplemental information not meant to be taken um, as complete information. So you'll want to do your due diligence and research this one because there are legal implications and it's a serious subject. I'd like for you guys to uh, comment on this if you know otherwise, but as far as my knowledge is concerned, South Dakota to date is the only state that does not require you to live there to live there. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's pretty special in that sense. I also want to ask you guys um, if you could please hit the like button. That would really mean a lot to me as a small channel trying to grow. It really helps the videos come out in the algorithm. So if you could hit that like button, I would really appreciate it. Okay, so who, why, why, why become a South Dakota resident? Okay, well, a lot of times we think about full-time RVing and that's a really big thing, but also diplomats have um, quite for some time used South Dakota as their main domicile state. And it's because they can, they don't have to go there for like five years till they need to renew their driver's license. Another major perk is that there's no state income taxes. And that makes sense, right? I mean, you know, why pay taxes in a state where you're not even living? That makes sense to me. First step is um, you're gonna wanna set up that America's mailbox. Uh, I don't really see another way around um, getting residency outside of a mail forwarding service because you'll need to do this because you'll have to have that essential information to take to the DMV to get your, to get your South Dakota driver's license. So you're gonna wanna pick a forwarding service. Uh, I went with the one in Spearfish. They are great. They are so professional. My contact was Lynn. Uh, there's also another major hub. It's at Box Elder. It's to the southeast. And then over in Sioux Falls on the eastern side of the state, you have Dakota Post, which I've also heard really positive things about. Mine was around $100 to set up, but you have to remember that it's, it's not just going to be the $100 to set up because depending on the plan you get, there's always going to be mail that you didn't really think that you would ever get and you're going to get it and you're, it's going to need to be dealt with and paid for. So keep in mind that there is a cost, but I don't really see another way around it because I mean, unless you buy land or live with family, uh, this is, this is the way to go. And so you can see how these, these services have become so popular among our viewers. They become really popular. One of the most popular states for domicile, for full-time RVers, car lifers, humble car campers like myself, include Florida, Texas, and South Dakota. I think that what really stands out with South Dakota is what you may have heard, and it is correct, that you indeed only need to spend one night in the state to become a full-blown state resident. That's all you need to do. So this isn't like other states where you need to go live in a campground or pay rent for months on end to prove what you need to do is you need to follow just a few simple steps and you're done. It's that easy. For where I stayed was I went to a really nice Econo Lodge. Uh, it happened to be in Sioux Falls. I was coming from the east. I after purchasing my mailbox, I was given an address. It's a street address, unlike a P.O. box. Um, one thing to note with this address is that uh, you're not really able to open up a bank account necessarily, and you're certainly not allowed to buy a firearm using this address. Um, I just know that because it was written in the paperwork. So anyway, so I went ahead and I stayed at this Econo Lodge here, and I simply 
um, asked them on the receipt to type out my address. So I gave them the paper that I got from, that was emailed to me from my forwarding service. And then that gave me the official documentation that I would need to take to the DMV, um, which I did in Sioux Falls. And uh, prepare to, depending on the time of the year, it could kind of depend on how long it's gonna take. I was there, I think like in August, and there were a lot of teenagers getting their permits, driver's license, taking tests. And I'm gonna be honest, it was flooded with people from California. Just a very, just an interesting, fun fact. There were so many people from California. I was there for a while and there were quite a few. So just kind of interesting. And um, yeah, it was a really easy process. I just needed like my driver's license, obviously from Virginia, where I'm from, a birth certificate. It can't be like a copy of your birth certificate. You actually have to have the original or you need to go and get another copy of your birth certificate. I mean, like not just like a photocopy, but like an actual, like at the place, official place or whatever, you have to get your birth certificate. And um, I had that and um, the information with my address and I think my registration. So it was pretty simple. And I, the only question that I got was, have you had a South Dakota driver's license before? The answer was no. And I did need to sign a paper that said, like, I promise to return to South Dakota after all of my travels are finished. I think you can kind of see by now that um, these services are extremely important because they are like the piece of the puzzle that goes hand in hand with the big picture that fits into these really special laws of South Dakota. So you can see how important this is because without this, this puzzle piece, it's, it's really, I don't really see how it's feasible or possible to establish re residency. So this is becoming, has become in the last several years, a very popular route that people are going to establish their domicile. So that means that they can vote. Yeah, it's basically like the real deal. It's your driver's license. Additionally, there is a step of registering your car and it's a little bit different from my home state of Virginia, for example. Um, out here, I'm not actually in South Dakota right now, but I am in the upper Midwest. Uh, you actually go to like a county, like a registrar. And in my case, I know that they can definitely help you with that. Uh, we're going to talk a lot more about this in the next video. Like I said, this video is kind of like the lay of the land. We're going to talk a lot more about uh, car insurance. That, that's going to be coming up in the next video, but this is just kind of like an overview. And so uh, once you have your driver's license for South Dakota, it can be very easy to think that, okay, life is now you know, rainbows and lollipops and teddy bears and parkers and I can just ride off into the sunset and not pay taxes and my car insurance is lower and this is so easy. Okay, spoiler alert, it's not. And we need to talk about a few things. The things that we're gonna be talking about are the pros and the cons of South Dakota residency. And also there are some changes on the horizon. There's trouble ahead that's looming and we need to talk about this. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're subscribed to this channel so that you will be alerted of these upcoming videos. And if this isn't your thing, just, it could be interesting to you. There's just other, you know, parts of it with travel. It could still be interesting to you. So I hope it is. Thanks for watching.